ओमानतिरांधस्यानंजनशलाकया चक्षुन मिलित तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूप कदा ददाति स्वदा श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअदाधर श्रीवासदी गौर भक्त बृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण फ्यू डेज अगो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट गदाधर पंडित क्षेत्र सन्यास चैतन्य महाप्रभु टेलिंग हिम टू गो बैक एंड मेंटेन हिज वाव ऑफ क्षेत्र सन्यास टेकिंग दैट टॉपिक फर्दर ऑफ द वाउज टेकन बाय डिवोटीज फॉर द प्लेजर ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड एंड फॉर द प्लेजर ऑफ द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर चैतन्य महाप्रभु सेज दैट in my heart i will love you to come with me to vrindavan and because you have taken kshetra sanyas it is very important for the devotee to maintain his vow which he has taken so for maintaining your vow you will have to leave me not come with me to vrindavan and go back to tota gopinath in jagannath puri chaitanya mahaprabhu remarked that for the devotee maintaining a vow is an extremely important aspect of devotional life so please go back similarly we have been talking about uh, the holy name the chanting of the holy name for months and months together now one of the important aspects of chanting of the holy name nicely is to maintain or follow the vows that we have taken at the time of initiation the spiritual master gives us initiation diksha and we take vows in front of the spiritual master that i will not eat meat and non vegetarian food and i will only eat prasadam i will not intoxicate myself with any drugs alcohol cigarette bidi gutka even tea and coffee i will not do gambling of any sort direct or indirect and i will not have any connection with women or man outside of marriage i will avoid illicit sex so these four vows actually make us eligible to be called as human being till that time we are simply two legged animals you know animalistic attitude in human body when we do all this uh, nonsense activities and contaminate ourselves and when we follow these four principles very seriously we will be able to create a pure atmosphere in the heart which will help us to chant very attentively and attain the goal of life following the four principles of purification they are called as four regulative principles of purification they are the chastity of the disciple towards a spiritual master because when the spiritual master gives initiation to a disciple he takes away all his previous karmas which are like burden on his soul preventing him or her from making good progress towards krishna that burden of previous sins the spiritual master takes away and he suffers for all those previous karmas of his disciple willingly happily lovingly so that the disciple doesn't have any burden of previous karma on him or her 
and there onwards whatever the disciple does the spiritual master has to go through the reactions of those activities those karmas along with the spiritual master along with the disciple that means previously when we perform any activity good or bad we suffer only but after initiation along with us even the spiritual master suffers without any of his fault when the disciple breaks one or more principles that he has taken vow of so following the four regulative principles is the chastity of a disciple towards his or her spiritual master it's a commitment of love it's a commitment of uh, devotion that and its commitment of gratitude that someone who doesn't relate to you with the blood is taking all your karmas on behalf of the supreme lord out of compassion and out of love i was reading the uh, book of giriraj swami of the building of juhu temple i will build you a temple in that when there was a great struggle i was feeling so uneasy when i was reading that struggle with nayar with mr a b nayar who owned the zuhu land and there was so much trouble pages after pages it is written how much trouble he created for devotees at that time the devotees like giriraj swami were continuously communicating with prabhupad of what's happening there and there is there are lots of number of letters back and forth from devotees and from prabhupad to devotees and suddenly prabhupad writes in between please listen carefully suddenly prabhupad writes in between please follow the four regulative principles strictly and everything will be all right i was very struck with this statement all legal matters are discussed in detail all pin codes and these and papers and agreements and so many things were discussed suddenly prabhupad says please follow the four regulative principles strictly and everything will fall in place that means even to achieve some success in the service to krishna and service to spiritual master we need to follow the four regulative principles because the four regulative principles when we follow we create a platform of spiritual potency we receive spiritual potency when we follow the four regulative principles of purification of the soul a certain amount of dignity and purity is created within ourselves which attracts the mercy of the lord which attracts the kindness of the lord and the lord empowers such a devotee who is strict in following this four regulative principles so if we all are serious in making spiritual progress if we all are serious in pleasing our spiritual master if we are committed to please the supreme personality of godhead and make tangible spiritual progress towards the lotus feet of the lord then we have to chant the holy name of the lord but along with strictly following the four regulative principles let us all resolve that we are not so advanced we do make mistakes and we can beg for forgiveness but the only way of begging forgiveness is not to break the four regulative principles any time subtly or grossly not to break the principles follow the principles strictly and if at all we fail in between not to repeat the mistakes repent take the price chitta but reinstate ourselves on the platform of following the four regulative principles amongst all the four regulative principles the principle of no illicit sex is most damaging to the soul most contaminating most degrading most uh, indignified is the principle of no illicit sex amongst the four principles so let us take this 
message of Srila Prabhupada very seriously. Just follow the four regulative principles of purification, chant Hare Krishna, and everything will fall in place. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare.